Good morning. I gotta go to Walmart to pick up some shit. And then stop and pick up some supplements that I need. I feel like I always need supplements. Um, not happy. Absolutely not happy about how I look and what I weigh. Yeah. Fucking frustrated, to be honest. Might as well say it. My ego is too big to look this way. I'm just uh, going through it. Fit for my fat ass today is this dime like uh, tank top my friend made years ago. Um, it's still a company actually. He used to play in the NFL. I know it's odd dark. It's kind of cloudy outside. But um, fucking huge Lululemons. Um, Lululemon aligns, and then these. So I gotta go pick up some groceries, well, water <laughs> from Walmart. Um, then I am going to um, pick up supplements, and then I have like a filler appointment. I don't know what the fuck they're gonna do. But, I'm gonna give Sammy his pill. Adonis is already in his cage because he's a good boy. Sammy, Phil. Wait, can we not? Can we, can we not? Can we just, can we lean out anytime soon? I know I'm being dramatic, but I just want to be fucking shredded already. And this is not me saying I'm not happy with my coach. I'm very happy with my coach. I'm just frustrated. Very frustrated. Can I sit? Sick of COVID, sick of masks, sick of my size, sick of, wow, did that break? Nope. Sick of a lot of things, guys. <sighs> no. I wanted this place to be like neat and organized, got rid of so much shit. End of the day, I still have so much shit. I didn't want to be here. Hannah, fucking over it. Leaving later than I wanted to. What else is new? somebody in the hallway, so I had to put the stupid mask on. Smells like weed in the elevator. Oh no. Coffee is spilling.
I just got Botox up. I got crow's feet and then just like my frown lines. So that's that. My lips are chopped as usual. Now I need to pee. I'm gonna go to Whole Foods. smaller now <laughs> so my condo is so new that there's like always people like moving in because like so many units are empty but when they move in they take control of the one elevator that's working and that's super annoying for me and So my mood has substantially changed. I guess I just needed a workout with a friend. Um, just something different. I came home, played with the dogs, walked with the dogs, ate. Now I'm gonna go pick up a Starbucks because I haven't had Starbucks today. <laughs> I have to basically get out of my own way. And what do I mean by that is I am my own barrier with my progress. I also realized today that I need a gym atmosphere like that to push me. Because for me, everything is a competition. So when I'm in the gym down. by myself training, like a pure, like I have been, um, I don't see anybody. So I'm competing against me. I know this might sound really weird, but when I'm in the gym, I'm trying to be better than everybody else in the gym. I'm trying to work harder, I'm trying to lift heavier, I'm trying to go faster. And I know it's not supposed to be a competitive atmosphere in that regard, but I make it one. And I find I see better results that way. Or I feel more motivated, I guess is the best way to put it. So, really excited for that. To be back. You don't realize it until you don't have it, if that makes sense, because of the lockdown. <laughs> Literally, we've been out of the gym, on and off, like, and not out, I haven't been out, but like, out of that atmosphere of like people pushing themselves whatever for a year and a half like how insane is that that like in Canada where I am it's been like a year and a half so tonight and tomorrow I'm gonna do a lot of journaling a lot of reflection I need to get back to like a motivated intense Alicia and out of this negative mindset I know it's easier said than done it's like I say it to my clients too like you know, like, I go through shit, guys. I am not perfect. I'm not always motivated. I am disciplined, yes, to an extent. And, you know, sometimes that discipline does flounder off. Especially when I don't see light at the end of a tunnel. You know, I've been stuck. I've been stagnant. I've just beaten myself up, you know? And what I really need is to be in that atmosphere all the freaking time. I love that atmosphere. That's what I missed, miss, realize I miss about working out at Pure, um, Torque. Because Torque was like, people are getting after it, they're hitting PRs, they're deadlifting, they're doing all that amazing stuff.
that's that's my vibe. It's a gym like that. Yeah. Huh. I broke a nail playing with the dogs, which kind of sucks. I already ordered my Starbucks, probably ready by now. But my head hurts. And I have one, two, three, four. I've got four meals. I have one more left. It is 5.42. Eat that around nine. I still have an hour of party. I got... I'm not supposed to do any of the stuff I did today with my Botox. Uh, I should message my nail lady. Oh. Anyway, that's where we're at. Oh, this looks like... Also go for a walk along the water. I also have to pick up a package of Weather's bipolar. Yesterday it was like five degrees. It was so cold and the wind was so cold. And then the days before that it was like 28 degrees. I just miss doing things. Hmm. I don't miss doing things. I am doing things. I need to change my mindset. Do you see how quickly it is to like be going in one direction during this time and then like you bring yourself to like another? And it's all within and it's all like self-talk and it's all motivation but it's like I don't know I just strange happenings yeah I just I don't want to put blame on anyone or anything but let's see let's talk okay let's go back <laughs> I'm very chatty I'm so sorry guys um You guys know that I was in a very terrible abusive relationship um, all the way up until like I won my pro card. After I won my card, it was like, no more. I'm not doing this anymore. I, I don't want that stress. I'm gonna be able to compete, blah, 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 blah. Hire a new coach, insert new prep. Now that guy didn't leave me alone that entire prep. Um, just the way he was messaging me and talking to me and putting me down and just, it was not a good prep. It was a very stressful prep. Um, it was very hard to get started. I started on my own. It was a very short prep. It was very rushed. So then, um, I moved to Burlington. This is where things get touchy. There's things I, I can't say, things I want to say, things I should say, things I shouldn't say. At this time, I'm just going to go ahead and say it was a very stressful time. So let's talk like Alicia's going on two years of stress. You know, now I finally have this like great coach. He's amazing. I don't feel stressed out at all with him, but my body is just being stubborn in, in some. And I know as a coach, sometimes it's just a matter of like me being a coach myself. Sometimes it's a matter of literally following a plan, keep ticking your boxes, keep doing what you're supposed to do, and the results will come. And I know this. Do you know how hard it is to do that and to deal with that and to just be patient? Like patience is not something that I have. But I know what I'm capable of. I know what I want to achieve. And I know what I can achieve. Oh, the old lady. I 
also cute. Very scary, terrible driver, but she's very cute. Um, and I know, I just know, I know, I know what I can do. And I need to make it happen. Somehow. It's so nice out. I'm gonna go to the track, I'm gonna drink my coffee, go to the track, walk around the track, and listen to my podcast. Or audiobook. Wanted to. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab this coffee. Stuff and Christina. Cheers. I need to pee, so I can't. So I'm gonna pee, read a book on my balcony, and then do cardio on the treadmill. Spend a little more time with dogs, whatever is what it is, and then I'm gonna edit this video. I know it was a weird video, there wasn't much in it, but it is what it is, and this is just life these days. So um, I wanna thank you guys for liking and subscribing and listening to me rant and ramble. I am taking clients, so if you're looking for coaching, you visit my website, www.trainitright.com. Follow me on Instagram, and um, yeah. Hopefully more content coming, because your girl, your girl's back. I mean, by back, I mean like in better spirits. But I like to share the good and the bad with you guys. So not every day is perfect and nobody is perfect. And prepping and the sport, the sport is really hard mentally, physically, emotionally. And I feel like I've kind of experienced all of the ups and downs, the highs and the lows, the goods, the bads, the wins, the losses. And there's much more to come. There's so much more to stage than what you see under the limelight. Um, that you see in pictures on Instagram. There's just so much more and I hope that if anyone who's been watching me from the beginning or if you've gone back and looked at my old competition videos and stuff that you see that that it's not all sunshine and rainbows and it's um There's a lot to it and be prepared to, to tough it out because Life's not perfect and neither is competing <laughs>